What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be doing a video on 16 mods and upgrades you can do to your F-150 that are going to change the look, the feel, and the overall performance. These mods can fit a 2015, 2016, and even 2017. For the first upgrade, we're going to be talking about the Paramount Grill. This grill is available on Amazon, and when you originally get it, it's going to say D-O-O-D. -O -O what you need to do is purchase the F&R separately. The grill comes in a gray color. I have mine painted flat black. The only issue I've ever had with the grill is when I first got the grill, the three lights that came with the grill were a yellow color, and I wanted more amber color. To solve that issue, I wrapped each light with an orange film, and now the color is amber. Upgrade number two is going to be replacing the F and R. They simply just screw off in the back and you just replace them. And then I'm going to have a link for it down in the description. For the third upgrade, we have the Anza USA Switchback Headlights. We have two versions of these headlights you can purchase. We have the Switchback and the Non-Switchback. The Switchback is going to have the white strip that surrounds the light light up white. When you turn on the blinker or the emergency lights, they're going to change to amber as you just saw right there. And then we have the non-switchbacks that are going to stay amber the whole time. And the only thing that blinks amber is the little blinker in between the two LED strips. When you unlock the car, this is how it's going to look. The white strips light up. For our fourth upgrade, we have the Pupco low beam LED lights that I really recommend purchasing. You can also put these in the high beams but they're not going to close and seal properly so for me i was only able to put them in the low beams and for the high beams i haven't changed that bulb out yet but i'm just going to try to get a white non-led bulb and put it in there for our fifth upgrade we have the pupco fog lights these also can be purchased on amazon they're really good and they match the low beam headlights perfectly so that's why i picked them For our sixth upgrade, we have the Pro Comp USA lift. This is a six inch lift. It works great with the tires I have on here. This is the side angle. I believe this is the perfect stance for your F-150. I was gonna go with a four inch lift originally, but I went with a six inch. For our seventh upgrade, we have the Fuel Maverick 20 by 10 rims. They're wrapped with BF Goodrich 35 inch by 12 tires. And these ride smooth, they're not loud, and I wouldn't buy any other tire. As we work our way around the truck, we're going to get to our 8th upgrade. Our 8th upgrade is the Steadfast Antenna. This is a 13 inch antenna. The sound quality is pretty good, but since I use Sirius Radio or I just use my Apple Music, I don't really need it. For my ninth upgrade, I have the cargo LED lights. These are made by JDM Toy. They're not an expensive LED, so I recommend getting these because if they do go out, you can just replace them and they won't cost you a fortune. For my 10th upgrade, I have my reverse lights. I really recommend these. These are the JDM All-Star reverse lights. They're really bright. If you watch one of my last videos on them, they show how bright they are. For our 11th upgrade, we have these LED lights and play lights that are cool white. I'll put a link to them in the description. They match your cargo lights, your reverse lights, so everything else just falls into place. Now as we get inside the truck for our 12th upgrade, we have the Husky Liner rear floor mats. These floor mats are heavy duty. They protect your interior from any spills. I really recommend picking these up. These are sold separate from the front. For our 13th upgrade, we have this latch built by Built Right Industries. A lot of you guys were having issue with removing the rear seat on the driver's side because to get to the latch, it's really hard. So installing this makes it a breeze anytime you need to get back there. It makes it really simple. For me, it was essential since I did put my system behind my seat. I wanted to have access to it and that's going to get into our next upgrade. For upgrade 14, we have an Alpine amp. I put the exact one in the description box below. And then we have a Pioneer 10 inch shallow mount sub with the box and they fit perfectly behind the seat. As you saw, I was able to close it with no issues.
Now as we get to the front, we have our 15th upgrade. These are the front Husky line of floor mats. I highly recommend these if you're looking for some good floor mats that are going to protect your interior. Mine are a little dirty. I wasn't able to clean them before I shot this, but I just wanted to show you. For our last upgrade of the video, we're going to be talking about my favorite upgrade. This is the interior seats that are wrapped by Catskin. I had cloth interior when I bought this truck. It's an XLT model. I had the dealership wrap these with the Catskin leather. It's amazing. All my friends and family ask me if this is factory leather. It looks really good. I would recommend if you don't have leather interior, look at Catskin leather. They're amazing. Check them out, guys. This pretty much wraps up my video guys. If you have any question on any of the mods I've done, I've already filmed videos on how to install a lot of these parts. And for the parts I didn't film, I didn't install myself. There's a couple mods that I still have in the works for this truck, but as is, I'm very pleased. This is my favorite truck to drive around. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. If you guys like these videos and you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions about any of the links, any of the parts, use the comment section down below.